All right, what's up everyone? So, new toy today. We got a new piece of equipment here. It is called the K-Box. Now, the way this works, it uses flywheel technology. So, this is from Eccentrics. You can check it out here. That's the label on the brand. Um, but the way this the guy works, let me lower the camera and put it in a better position so you can see it. So, bear with me for a second. It's called inertial loading. So, when we do inertial loading, we're talking about the ability to, well, if we remember our physics, overcome inertia. And so it utilizes a flywheel in this case. And as you see here, we'll walk through it. I am to lift it. I know this angle, you don't get a great view, but we'll lift it. And as I pull it back up, we see the wheel moves. And the faster I concentrically pull on it, the more eccentric demand it places on me. So the idea is that I'm getting an overload both concentrically as I try and accelerate the flywheel and then eccentrically as I try and decelerate the flywheel. Now, for those of you that have used this in the past, I had an older model I had used. This new model is pretty sweet. It has this uh, push tab here. So if you wanna adjust the height of the actual, um, well, from what you're pulling from, I'm gonna back this up so you guys can see, it's really easy. Uh, and previously, it took a little bit of effort. It wasn't a ton of effort even back then when I used the older model. But this one, man, it makes it super quick. So, uh, oh, you gotta put it right here so you can see it. Cool. And if I want to adjust this height, so let's say I have an athlete going, and I want this to be higher, I can push down on this. There's a little red tab here. I can lift it up, or I can lock it down, and that locks in the maximal height of it, right? So if I'm right here, I'm gonna do my, my row or whatever I'm doing, that's the height at which I'm gonna to have to stop. So let's go right there, come back down. But if I wanna make it higher up because I got another athlete who's taller, hit the button, now it's up here. And again, I have a greater range of motion to work through. Now what's also really cool about this is this platform itself is pretty darn light. I can carry this around, I can take it upstairs, outside. The way you switch these uh, wheels on and off is really easy. It's just a pull pin right here on their front lock. Um, now the, what makes this really cool are the different kinds of attachments they have as well. So here's one of the harness attachments. When you throw this on, as you can expect, you can imagine it's a harness. So I take it right here, I put my clip on, I can do my squats. All in all, a really interesting piece of technology because it offers a stimulus that's much different than that of just lifting weights. Um, it, it has, again, if we're thinking about weight, we're dealing with mass. Mass times velocity is momentum. And so when we produce an impulse, which is force over time, we're trying to lift that weight, but that weight has a mass that is constant. Now we're talking about a flywheel. We're actually messing a little bit with uh, velocity, well in this case acceleration, and trying to decelerate the flywheel. And based on the size of the flywheel and the weight of the flywheel, um, I'm not sure the exact physics of it, but the, basically the distance from the radius, which is the center point, right, to the here. If we remember our, uh, our geometry of circles, um, it's something to do with like a, again, I'm not really sure the exact physics of it, but point is, the larger the di diameter and the greater the radius, the more distance, more distance, the uh, greater the loading will be, which is why they have different size plates of this. So we'll check it out. You guys come closer here as I take my little selfie stick and doing this home style edition. Here is the handle attachment we have. Here is the weighted vest attachment. To give you all a better view, we have another plate that's sitting right here. I'm gonna grab this one because that's the large one. That's the medium sized one. They have a small one. I believe they have one size larger than this too. So really excited to mess with this. Uh, going to be playing with it a little bit here today. Uh, trying out some different exercises and hopefully, well not hopefully, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something we're gonna be using quite a bit in our training. I'll uh, get another tool, another tool we can utilize to help our athletes get better. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to let me know if you used the K-Box before. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy and I appreciate y'all as always. Uh, if you guys enjoy these talks, feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along. I appreciate y'all, and take care.